That kid's built like a running back. Low to the ground. He's about 5'10". Yes. Pretty good size. I'll bet he's 5'10", 185. Another deep kick by Thompson. Did it get to the end zone before it went out of bounds? Sure did. And so Bear River now trailing 7 nothing after the successful PAT after the eight-yard touchdown strike from Braddy, from Nelson to Braddy. Well, you, you got to think that Bear River, having seen the first three plays of their offense, Logan's very quick on the edges, and they're bringing that safety right up like you pointed out. Uh, a nice fake and or a draw play, something like that. Kind of spread, open that up a little bit. Might help here. I haven't seen his kid throw yet, though. Maybe the, maybe the coach is a little concerned about throwing it. Miller, a six foot two, 187 pound junior under center for Bear River. Split backs in the backfield. Miller's going to keep. Pitch back to Jepson. Jepson picks up a yard before he's undercut out there by. Looks like Nelson again. Yeah, Nelson again. He's going to get a lot of work on the edges if they don't change their offense up a little bit. Here's the pitch, and Nelson sees that all the way with no blockers and easy tackle. You read that it's that read option. You read that end and what he does, whether you keep or pitch. He doesn't care that he's a sophomore, and Clark Jepson, number 38, is a senior, six foot three, 246 pounds. Well, not if you're going to go down that low. Nope. That's just That's a great equalizer. Just, just don't land. On, don't land on me. That's right. Miller's going to throw. Has a receiver out at about the 25-yard line. Spun down out there is Kyle Hess after a pickup of four. Up there by Jason Anderson. It'll be third down and about five for Bear River. It's almost the exact same position they were in on the uh, first drive and came up short. Logan's offense clicking like it is. If you're Bear River, you don't want to go up three and out again. Miller and Polly are split out. And the eye formation with Jepson and Fukui. They stay in to help. Over the middle. Miller has a man running free, and he just overthrows him. Polly had come all the way across the formation. He was in, the, in between linebackers and DBs That's and right. running free, and they couldn't find him. That is right where you want to be, and the ball is just overthrown. You think the quarterback's eyes get really big right here, and the adrenaline kicks in, and he drops it about two yards too long. That would have been a big gain for Bear River. Instead, they have to punt it away. Better punt this time. Oh, Nelson muffs it, has to pick it up, and there's a host of bears there. Is it a pack of bears, a den of bears, a gaggle of bears, a murder of bears, whatever it was, there were a lot of them. Well, that looked like a murder of bears because Nelson looked up and knew he was going to get lambasted for dropping that ball. You know, this first game of the season, you got a sophomore out there returning his first kick of the year in a varsity uniform, and... Nobody in front of him. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a great return. Holy cow, I forgot the ball. Oh, I gotta take that. I gotta take the pigskin with me. <coughs> Logan would like the ball. Each team uses their own ball when they're on offense. Well, they're very, very different. Okay, not so much. <laughs> Logan this time with a four wide receiver set. And Schmidt stays in the backfield with Nelson, and Nelson's going to run it. Nelson DJ makes a move, still on his feet. First down and more. DJ Nelson all the way out near the Bear River 40 yard line. They're going to spot it about the 42 and a half, 43. 18 yards for DJ Nelson. Well, if you're DJ Nelson coming out of the backfield, you got to love following Schmidt, who's just looking for a block. And he gets that block and springs him, and it's all DJ Nelson after that. Making guys miss. There's a nice block downfield by Thompson. Wide receiver still working. Not quite midway through the first period, and Logan already leading 7 0 and looking for more as they're on the Bear River 42 yard line. Again, five wide receivers for the Grizzlies. Looking downfield, and it's just a little long. Bo Artis couldn't quite get there. He had broken free at the last moment. Boy, they're talking about putting pressure on the safety. Artist 
ran that route. On the other side, Jesse Braddy was running the seam. <laughs> and if you're the safety back there and you see them both pressing up on that running verticals, decisions, that decisions. gets a little scary. <laughs> Somebody please help me. <laughs> That's the problem. You are the help. Yep. <laughs> I suppose you're not called the safety for nothing. So DJ Nelson with the incompletion. He's three of four. 36 yards and a touchdown. He's rushed for th 38 yards on three carries. Nelson will keep. Pitches it off to Schmidt. Schmidt's got good blocking out front. Nice Schmitt job by his side. receivers wow. to seal it's that off. you got to think the, the corner and safety for Bear River have got to get well, off that block. The first, They're just in there doing a square dance with them. There is nobody in the field of vision. Look at that. We still don't see anybody. And there they are just kind of waiting got to shed that block and get upfield, especially when you got Schmidt barreling down at you. Braddy's in the slot. You've got Hagen Anderson at the top of your screen and Thompson down low here. Bo Artist just off tackle. And again, four wide receivers. Nelson's going to keep. There's a flag it's coming a back on a hold. It's going to nullify a first down run of almost 15 yards by D.J. Nelson. Holding against the Grizzlies. Uh, sometimes when you're an offensive lineman, you just kind of get stuck with a hold. There it is right there. You can see the top of the screen. There might have been two holds, actually. <laughs> but you really didn't need to. You just kind of kind of push them around so they go outside of the play, and D.J. finds a Holding slot up the middle. Against the Grizzlies. Still first down. spot foul. It is 10 yards from the spot so it backs him up about 12 yards instead of it'll be first down and instead about of first yards. and 20 it'll be about first and 22. Well again Logan last time went empty. Most looks this time they've got a running back back in there running free is Anderson. And he lets it get through his hands. He was wide open by five yards. And it goes right through his hands. Uh, that's a pretty good ball from Nelson. And right on the money for Hagen Anderson. Hagen Anderson, the junior, is going to be thinking about that one. He's kind of looking back into the sun a little bit. That is. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> tried, to give him some, uh, tried to give him some help. First game. I'm sure he'll have that shot a few more times this season. I've been watching they've, the vertical receivers they've been sending are running right past their defenders. And that vertical game's there. Screen coming up. Logan's got it set up. Oh. <laughs> Schmidt puts on the ankle yeah. breaker and then breaks his own. Yep, coming up is Jade Schneringer to bank the play. All five foot seven, 156 pounds of him. And it brings up third and long. Third down and 19 for the Grizzlies after a three yard gain. A lot of time again looking for a deep pattern. They find Anderson, that one's a little tougher and he catches it, but he's gonna be about five yards short. This is a spot though where Logan just goes for it. Yeah. They got a great boot back there in Thompson. He could probably kick this field goal. That is a nice pass, and Anderson Four finds that spot, knows the hit's coming, and easy. hangs on to it. The offensive line of Logan, I don't want to jinx them, but they are impenetrable right now. Fair River can get no pressure in the backfield. Fourth and a long five. Nelson steps up, has a man. It's caught by Thompson. First down That's as he tiptoes out of bounds right at the 10-yard line. Down to the 10-yard line. If you get a chance, this is a great this is a great pass by DJ Nelson. He is on tonight and he's hitting all the receivers, even First the ones that he's uh, thrown incomplete where could have been caught. First down Logan. If you get a chance, watch number 75, Dalton Cole, the left tackle for Logan. He is manhandling the defensive end of Bear River. I think that's number 35, Jeremy Selman. Schmidt gets Schmidt to the outside. Anderson play. gives him a block, and Schmidt barrels into the end zone. Logan goes up by two scores. That drive taking a little bit longer than the last one. Because of the penalty. 
Schmidt from 10 yards out. Stay low, stay low, he's popping up. Thompson getting ready to kick the extra point. Nelson the holder. The PAT is up and good, 14-0. Logan with the lead with 4-14 to play in the first period. your life. Nick Thompson getting set to kick off. The Grizzlies enjoying a 14-0 cushion early in this ball game. 4-14 to play in the first period. I'm Eric Olson with me. Leave on. Hope you're enjoying the opening bits of this <laughs> high school football season. We'll be with you all through the season. What a great weapon that is. Thompson, kick it out of the end zone every time. That is pretty nice, <coughs> isn't it? Well, Logan looking good, looking sharp. Young Logan fan in the stands there. Bear River looking for some answers. We mentioned, you know, they're pretty young, and now they're playing with a – they were counting on a quarterback with some experience, and then he's out this game, and now they're counting on a junior – back there and so they come into Logan which is a tough way to open the season for anybody Logan leads this series 48-28-3 but it's been split the last eight meetings each team winning four as Fukui picks up a yard picks up two yards of the second down eight for the Bears that uh Watching the quarterback, he's having a hard time making that decision, and the play is not happening fast enough to deceive or beat the Logan defense. They're just Logan defense have been very impressed with their speed. Miller with two tight ends hands it off to Fukui again. A flag, flag going to nullify a two-yard run, two. and we'll see if Logan Flash just Fukui. see if Logan just <laughs> declines and. Takes the third and fairly long. Maybe about third and seven. Third and six. Success they've had on third and long so far. I would decline it. But Mike Favero is a football genius, and I am not. So let's see what he A says. football genius. He's got a high football IQ. Well, he's going to walk him off. He'll back him up. It's all about field position, right? Fake into the line and looking for Miller down the sideline. Knocked away. It's Miller to Miller. Lane Miller, the senior receiver. Ta Taylor Compton, number 15. Uh, the sophomore, if he doesn't make that tip, that could be bad for Logan because there was nobody behind him. You're looking at a 14-6, maybe 14-7 game, right? Yep. 